We back in meme mayhem, baby. Listen, I am on Ascension 2 now. I've only beat the game a couple of times. And I gotta tell you, there is, a, the, first of all, the game is hard and there's a lot of RNG involved, but the full release is coming up. And I wanted to give you guys some knowledge, some nuggets of wisdom that I've developed along the way and kind of just talk about stats and builds and what works, what doesn't work and what you have to accomplish. So uh, let's see, I do like this revenge perk here and I guess this leads me to talking about thorns. So thorns is one of the most powerful abilities I think, okay? There's a few different builds that you can go with, and the idea for most roguelite or auto battlers like this is to focus down on one specific strategy, okay? So let's say, for instance, we were going for a strength build. We would want to do as much, get as much strength as possible. Getting this much strength probably involves getting a, some flex attacks, which do damage to your own health total in order to increase your strength. So, Vampire would help that, right? Getting extra max health would help that, you would think. Also, getting extra attacks that are strength-based attacks would also help. I'm gonna pick Vampire because you need a certain amount of health to be able to endure ultimates from some of the battles that you're gonna face along the way. Like, this guy just does 504 damage with an ultimate, if he even gets it off. So, that's not really bad, but there's a couple of, of the elite enemies or some of the mini bosses, so to speak, the big challenges that will, <laughs> some of the characters on the the, uh, the feed that will they'll, they'll absolutely obliterate you, okay? So here's another thing we could look at, like every 66 flex hits increase strength by one. So going for flexes here would probably make sense, you know? This is also really good. If we're gonna be just trying to endure a lot of time, you know, in the battle for thorns to take effect, for instance, 15% um, chance to launch plus one rock when you get hit by an emoji. Basically, you just want as many emojis to hit you as possible so you can launch more of these, but you need armor to really, really make this kind of perk work. So there's a bunch of different things right now. Ironically enough, I'm going to take the common out of these because getting healing is very, very good. Okay, I mean, very, very good. There's great synergies with that, but staying in the battle longer is good. Um, now, you might say, well, which one's more important? 33 regen or 200 max health? Normally, health regen is much more important, but it depends what your max health is. You really need a decent amount of max health to be able to endure some of the stuff. Um, it's, re it's really, really hard to gauge what's what, but you gotta take things as it comes because you don't have a whole bunch of, uh, 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 really a bunch of control over it. You know, you have three choices that you can make per battle and, and that's about it. And you can try to stack synergies. Right now, I have a vampire, so I'm gaining max health. So max health is a little bit less important than it would normally be. Um, so we have no strength uh, boost yet. We're still going for this max health, I mean, this this healing, health regen thing. So, I already have one of these. Mainly, it would be like a 60% chance to heal five, right? Or a 30% chance to heal 10. You could look at it either way, but this is, this is pretty good. So, I'm going to take another one. And it doesn't reflect in your health regen number, but it will increase things overall. Okay, so now's a good time to talk about ultimate. So my ultimate damage is 508 and my meter fills up based on my energy regeneration. So energy regen is something that I would need to build in order to, well, get more ultimate attacks. But from what I've seen in the past, the ultimate builds are very, very hard to pull off and I don't think they can, they're can. they capable of beating the last boss. You need to focus on too much other things that revolve around your regular attacks. Uh, based on the time that you have, the number of battles that you have, and the type of perks that you're um, li likely to get. So getting Brain here is very, very good because of... Uh, the biggest reason is there are some elites that we're going to fight 
that their ultimate attacks or their whole strategy, kind of like the builds that I'm talking about are, are hard to deal with. So deals extra damage equal to the energy burned. This is very, very nice to get with our brain attack. Um, but essentially, like Popcat, when we fight him, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll give you an example with Sad Toad here. Sad Toad has 440 ultimate damage. So if he gets to 1,000 with his energy, he's going to launch it, and it's going to do 440 damage. The more brain attacks I do on him, the harder it is for him to generate enough energy to launch an ultimate, okay? Now, if, if I keep that bar down, he never launches an ultimate. And if his build is around ultimate, then we're really, really, really going to screw him up the more brains that we have. Okay, gaining 25 income is nice here, but gaining two lifesteal is much, much, much better. And now my health uh, is going to increase faster. Okay, gaining more thorns and armor here is incredible. First of all, just because this is a legendary perk doesn't mean it's more powerful than these when it comes to the build. But this is a very powerful perk, and getting armor here is crazy because I'll tell you why. Armor, I think, is one of the most important stats in the game. It just is. Like, every single time you get hit, it's just a flat damage reduction, okay? It's, it's better than healing, because health regen is ineffective when you are not taking damage, okay? Uh, such as, like, the Popcat fight, which I'll show you. Um, Thorns is also not effective when you're not taking damage, nor is armor, but... At the beginning, when you start taking damage, you start receiving the full benefit of armor every single emoji that gets hit, including um, getting hit by ultimates. Okay, so do we want attack speed here or income? We're on battle seven. 10 income would basically guarantee us, if we get to the last battle, 23. That's 230 coins. It's probably worth it. Well, attack speed is also probably worth it because I have three vampires and this will increase my health regen. I mean, my health accumulation, my life drain. So we're going to go with that. So yeah, armor is, is a really, really, really good perk. And especially depending on how much, um, how much damage the enemy is capable of doing. So let's see. Critical is... If we had a lot of crit, this would be pretty good. We're going to go with another vampire here. So, there's some things that we could do with max health too, which will help a lot. Okay, spin this, get 6% crit and 600 max health. That's a very, very good one. I think we do it. We get some max health here and some crit. We won't have a whole lot of money when it comes to the next shop but I think it's still worth it all together. So luck affects crit. It also affects dodge. Um, so there's a bunch of things to consider when it comes to that. Gaining thorns after defeating enemies. The next, um, yeah, getting 15 thorns over the next 15 battles toward the end is just is gonna be really, really good here. So we'll do it. Now we start off with three vulnerable here, which kind of nullifies what, um, what thorns i mean what armor does but vulnerability works very very well too against the enemy because our thorns would do extra damage as well okay we have no energy regen yet we don't have any axes but axes are kind of like their own thing like there's a bunch of perks that boost axes by themselves and a bunch of things that can trigger axes besides just adding an axe to your active attacks so i think we go with luck here Mainly because it helps our draws, our future draws, like our perks and stuff in shops. Um, we don't have a whole lot of money here, so we can't get anything except for crit, which I think is a fine purchase. Because we, we want to start scaling our power. I think this is the Popcat fight. Okay, so ultimate power level 8. Ultimate 240% ultimate damage. She doesn't do any attacks. She has no attacks, okay? She has a lot of health. She has one strength, which is not <laughs> nothing, but look at the ultimate damage that she does. Now, 
we basically have to make sure that we have over 1,374 energy. I mean, health by the time she launches an ultimate or it kills us. And that was kind of brutal, but there's a few things that, that worked towards us that helped. Okay, having low strength allowed us to stay in the fight longer so that we got more vampire attacks off, increasing our maximum health overall. Okay, if we would have killed her really fast, we wouldn't have got as much max health. So there's some things to consider here. Healing, six seconds after the battle start, really, really good. Um, do we have anything that gives us... Yeah, after dealing 30 thorns damage launch an axe... Um, no, there's no... So there are some perks that would affect that. I think thorns here is the much better play. It really all depends what your build is going for, but... Okay, there's a health regen that we could have got. Rush is... I guess it's a decent perk, depending on if you build around it. But the thing is, on a long battle like the last boss that you have to build around in order to beat the game, Rush is not effective because the battle lasts way too long. <laughs> okay, so like that battle was 19 seconds. Rush would have only mattered for three. Now, you do get some extra attacks off and stuff like that if you have the right Rush stuff. So like Vampire is very, very good for that. There's a bunch of things to consider, but okay. 33% chance to launch Vampire on flex hits. If it was the other way around, we'd be doing good. Um, getting another brain here is nice, but muscle memory is really good based on the amount of healing that we have. So, we only have 58 health regen, but remember, we have things that give us extra health. For instance, uh, I have 80 health for the first three seconds, okay? I also have two of these that heal me when other emojis are present, so... Really and truly, launching this for muscle memory is better. And it does start giving us the damage bonus. So there we go. Very nice. And our max health is getting up there. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. See, this is one of the things I was talking about with the axes. Like, if you get a few mites, you can get axes to do some serious damage. Yeah, we're going to take... Yeah, we're gonna take that armor and thorns. Another, you know, some more armor would be very, very nice here. I'm gonna go, even though I want attack speed, I'm gonna go with strength because we don't have enough of it right now. We need to focus on that a little bit. We are getting extra strength with our flex. We're also doing damage to ourselves to accomplish that. Okay, so, oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> Say less, baby. Say less. All right, as you can see, you see the axes starting to fly? Do you see the axes that are starting to fly, y'all? It's because I'm starting to do a lot of thorns damage. So getting an axe perk right now would be very good. 33% chance to launch axes on mind hits. Here's another one. I only have one brain, but this is pretty good, man. I'm gonna go with it. Heal enhancement would have been okay too. But there's another brain. We could do it even more. Okay, every 66 flex hits permanently increase strength by one. Now, we are doing some flex hits. Even though we don't have any in our attacks, we're doing some flex hits because of our, um, our perks here. So, is it worth... I don't think we're doing enough to really focus on that. What I think we should do is... Mm, I think just getting a brain here is what we need to do. We don't have a whole lot of money. Okay, here's another example. Kidio is all about ultimates right here. So if we wouldn't have enough brain attacks, it would be really, really hard to keep this guy from ulting faster than he's already doing. Now, our health regen keeps us pretty good. But if we wouldn't have the brain attacks, he would be launching them in much faster success. And uh, yeah, we'd be we'd be hurting right now. Also, if we focused on ults, if we focused on energy regen, for instance, for this specific battle, his his build would have countered us so hard. Okay, so 
20% chance to launch flex when you critically hit would be good if we had some decent crit chance, which we do. But 8 armor is insane. And every once in a while, you get some combos. So we got an apple, and we got that U-phone, and basically, it, it, it combines into an apple phone, which gives us a bonus. So that's also incredible. I didn't even know that was going to happen, but this is also really good. I, normally, I would just take another brain here, but getting early grave is really good because reducing enemy's health regen is really good. Like this person, for instance, had health regen, but now it's, it's way low. So some of the enemies that we're going to be facing have really strong health regen. Okay, gain five energy when you dodge. This is a good example of a perk that you would use if you were building around energy regen or or and stuff like that. Um, let's get another health regen. Our health regen is 163 right now. We're doing really, really good. I, I, you know what? A couple of axe perks would be so good. So good right now. Okay, this burning 10 more into Oh, no, we got to go for the... We got to go for this. We got to. That's really, that's our third one. Okay, so, poor armor or 200 max health, definitely armor. We have 19 armor. This is an extremely strong run. Extremely strong, okay? Um, every 66 hits permanently increase strength by one. I don't know if... You know what? Let's do it. Because we are launching some flex based on our health regen. And you can see it's stacking up right here. We're not going to get a ton. Like, we got 10 from a battle. So, 6 battles increasing 1 strength. Probably not that great. Um, Let's do heal when... No, let's not do heal when launching an ultimate. Because I don't have any extra energy regen or anything. We'll just do big brain. Which will help our couple brain attacks here. All right, let's see. For emergency perks, 100% better. Those are usually pretty good because emergency is really nice to have. Gaining 10% attack speed is like the only thing that really appeals to me here, but it's expensive. Um, 12 strength and 5 vulnerable would nullify some of our armor. But I'm going to do it. There are um, things that you could do to remove your vulnerability too, but there's also some retaliation perks that are insane. Okay, so here's another crazy build, the Flex level 13. This guy has 13 Flex attacks, okay? The Rock, <laughs> Dwayne, whatever, um, the Stone. Energy up level five, so he gets a lot of energy regen. Our mind is gonna help, our brain attacks are gonna help against that. And he's got one Rock. So, he's going to be doing that rock of damage to us, which means right now I'm not taking a whole bunch of hits. So, we really don't get a bunch of thorns, but we're attacking him pretty fast. And as long as we're healing, we're pretty good, but he's just, his strength is just accumulating too fast because of these. So, we didn't heal him fast enough, okay? That's pretty crazy to think that as strong as our good as our build was going we still couldn't we still couldn't beat him we probably just needed extra damage and our strength wasn't high enough so that's a that's a heck of a way to to discover that your build's not strong enough but again it's all about beating that guy so let's see what we can do we'll start out with um let's see you know this this would give a this would be a good example of getting more ultimate to really really go crazy on ultimates and it's not going to be a winning run but i'll show you what an ultimate build looks like okay this again this is more for your info to help you prepare for the game to come um they're just to give you ideas about the stats and what i've learned so far they've got some emergency and some rush um i think because we're going ultimate let's build up energy and see what kind of stuff that we could do. So our energy production is pretty fast. This is what the stone had as far as energy perks um, when we were doing it. Okay, so again, we're going for ultimate. So let's go with another energy regen. 
we're just gonna like lean way into it, okay? Uh, eight income, nine strength. Hmm. Let's go with eight income, just to kind of help our overall um, our money situation. Okay. So Kidio is gonna be hard to beat with this build, but I think we'll still be able to do it. Um, we'll go. We'll go flex here. We're gonna have to. We we can't lean very heavy into flex. Okay, that's very scary to do. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't lean at all. If I wouldn't have took the flex, I would have lived. But you can see, like, just not taking basic perks and focusing on energy. It's not good enough, man. It is not good enough. <laughs> I hope that gives you an idea about how strong stuff is versus how weak it is. Um, we could do axe builds too. Gain 7% attack speed and 7% luck. This is pretty good. We've already really focused on this. Let's, let's try axes just to show you guys how that looks. So axes basically doing an extra 40 damage which is not reliant on strength or anything. It's just a base damage number that you get. Axes deal 100% more damage. You know I like this spiky armor, but let's just lean into this. So now our one axe is doing 80 damage every time it hits, which adds up pretty fast. I mean, I'm, I'm still at 900 health after this battle, which is pretty good. Getting another axe, we... <laughs> now it's starting to pop off, bruh. Now it's starting to pop off. More crit chance. Yes. So you can get some axe crit synergies too, and that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Look how fast I beat this guy. This is the type of damage that I needed against the rock. Um, so rush in a case like this would be pretty good because you do damage really fast. But again, it's only three seconds. It's only four or five seconds, even if you get some rush perks not really good when you face the last boss so we're gonna go for overall healing with the emoji okay and that's it easy peasy okay i think it's time to get a brain because we still need those okay i used to think this was pretty good and it is but it really all depends on what you got. Getting both of these slaps are pretty decent too because you get like a, a combo for them. I can't even afford this right now, but just to say, I thought it was pretty good. I think the other slap is pretty good too because it stuns them for 0.5 seconds. But honestly, it really all depends. If you're trying, if you need to buy time because you're not killing enemies fast enough, right slap is pretty good. Um, but for now, Let's see. Four income after defeating an enemy. We have 25 battles left. So that's 100 income. This pays for itself in like 20 battles or something like that. That is not worth it. Okay. Base damage increased by 10. Insane. Because we already have two axe perks. So that's really, really good. See, this would have been a lot better than this. The squid versus just the getting the income up. So I don't understand. There's, There definitely needs to be some more balancing when it comes to that stuff but watch how fast i beat toad i mean you saw him in the last few battles where i was health wise or whatever i mean i beat him pretty fast i don't have a ton of health left over but we did damage him pretty quick and we get two more axes right here this is gonna be crazy um if it gets a little loud in the background i'm sorry it, it just start monsoon raining outside <laughs> We got Hurricane Barrel in the uh, in uh, hitting Texas right now. I'm, I'm much many thoughts go out to those people, man. We've been through hurricanes before and it sucks. Launch plus eight when I'm hit by an ultimate. Um, so this would reduce the attack speed of people like Kidio quite a bit. Um, gaining strength here is not as important as it would seem because my axe build is not really focusing on strength all of these rocks are still doing damage so i also don't think that this is the best eh, we'll do this one we don't we don't we didn't really focus on healing so we'll just do that all right we killed him very 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 fast here Got a lot of axes working now. 
Um, let's get some crit. And you see, the thing about building this, we may not ever get any of the extremely good axe perks, like that legendary axe perks that multiply axes based on crit. Okay, normally I would get two rocks because that's very, very good, but we need more brain to challenge those ult builds. Okay, now we get 20% luck, 200. I think I just go with max health here. Crit, luck is nice for crit. Okay, it really is. I don't know what effects it has on it. It just says it gives you more chance to crit. But then again, you have things that just give you more chance to crit like this. So 10% attack speed or 5% crit? I think we go with more crit. And you hear that squeaky toy sound like squeaker, 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 squeaker. That's crits, basically. And you can see how much damage they do in too, if you pay attention. Um, we could get a little bit of thorns here. If we get a vulnerable, this is like nine extra damage um, for every time they hit us. Okay, this is really good too. After dealing 30 thorns, gain one axe. We don't have any, but um, both of these, actually all three of these are really, really good, but I can't get both of these. Eight armor or, I mean, this is the clear winner of the two, right? If we had the choice, I would probably get both, even though it would drop my health way low and that wouldn't be too wise. All right, we got Popcat here. So, all about ultimates, I do have two brain attacks and I'm doing a lot of damage. I mean, I think my axe crits are doing 200 a piece, which is pretty good. All right, now we have gain one flex and 200 max health or for every thorns that we gain, we give them, we get strength. I mean, let's go with lobster. Let's go with lobster. We'll probably get some other thorns. Um, going with crit damage here sounds great. So now our we're now we're doing 257 when we crit with axes which is nice, but our build is very, very offensive right now and not really defensive, so that's kind of scary. I mean, we do have a little bit of armor, but we don't have much health regen to talk about, and we just didn't get any of that stuff as options, really. I mean, we may have, and we just missed over it. Like, again, no health option. If I could reroll this, I would, because it's just not giving me anything that I really want for this build. I think just taking another attack here is probably better. Now I'll gain strength, just in case, because there are some perks that uh, have to do with max health with strength. This slows down attacks, but I don't have a whole lot of attack speed. And from what I've seen, ice is, it's not super strong. Not that 200 max health is a real big deal, but all right, that was pretty close. If he would have got the ult off or anything, that would have been done. Oh my god, okay. We get the axes deal 100% more damage. Now look at the damage. Now I'm doing 400 with axe crits or 150 with regular axe attacks. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is an axe run. Um, gaining max health right here would be insane. Gaining 10 armor and losing max health right here is scary, but I think it's worth it. And do we get attack speed? Yes. Okay. This is gonna be nuts. Okay, let's survive Kidio. Can we survive Kidio? No, almost though. Almost. If that build would have gave us just a little bit more defense, or if I wouldn't have taken that max health thorn reduction, I mean uh, armor reduction, uh, armor increase, and I would have taken something else, I would have probably beat it. But that's to give you an idea of the few different strategies that I've tried, what works, what doesn't work, or what might work, I should say, because I didn't give you an example, but... Um, both of my builds here, I just had some extreme stats, and I can show you what I mean. My buddy Stubb has played uh, the game quite a bit here, and if I go to my library, 
Mean Mayhem. These are two screenshots that he took, and I'll give you an idea of his, his deal. I don't have um, any of his perks to really look at, but you can see here when he beat this boss of what kind of stats he had. So he didn't have crazy max health. He had a couple of vampires. He had a bunch of flexes. So his strength was insane. Okay, his strength numbers were insane. He also had quite a bit of dodge, a little bit of thorns, and he didn't have any and a little bit of energy regen. Well, actually quite a bit of energy regen. And he had 19 armor, but nothing else. It, it, this is just almost like one perk above normal health regen. Okay, so that wasn't incredible. Then when you look at something like this, he had a little bit of a different mix. Okay, so he had much bigger max health, much more health regen, not as much armor, some pretty big uh, ultimate numbers, but look, and, and, and some decent energy regen, but look at the freaking crit this guy had. So he probably had, and his health regen was insane too, and his thorns were insane. He just had insane everything. <laughs> so it's... You need a very, 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 very strong build in order to fight against this guy because his stats, they're, they're pretty sick. He's got a lot of attacks. He's very strong. <laughs> he's got thorns. He's got armor. He's got 50% dodge, so it's hard to hit him. It's just, it's it's a lot to do. So, yeah, getting to that point is, is just, it's hard, but, hey, again, the full release of this game is going to be so good. And I hope you guys are ready for it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. We'll see you next time.